So I've retained whatever we had uh, written the last time and and I'll make some modifications in this. So now I am dealing with the surface surface charge. Okay. Now what happens here? Here you have a surface surface and if you have spread a, a charge q over the surface okay so so here it is over the surface yes we define it we define surface charge density sigma as q upon s when the charge is uniformly distributed the q is the is the total charge over the surface and a is the s is the area of the uh, area of the surface over which the charge is spread lambda instead of lambda we call it sigma what happens again the same thing if it if it changes from area to area if it is non uniformly distributed charge then we define it something like this this is for a non uniformly distributed charge now over a very small area delta s we have a charge of sigma delta s so what we do we take such a small area that it actually behaves like a like a point charge so while finding my de what do i do i i write this as sigma delta s into this the same thing okay so that's why i did not erase what i had written earlier because it becomes the same kind of thing so sigma ds that becomes your that becomes your infinitesimal charge but but what is the advantage it becomes a point charge right it becomes a point charge and and this integration has to be over the whole surface so what happens this is actually a this is actually a double integral okay about which we have talked about in class 11th rotational motion right so so it is it is exactly that fine so we see we just kind of defined this to be sigma and 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 instead of length we had area so sigma into delta s it, what is the what is the unit of sigma what is the unit of sigma coulomb per meter square what is the unit of lambda it is coulomb per meter correct Do we understand it? Now, if we understand it, we can take it further to volume. to represent a volume, and and nothing changes. So I I am not waste, going to waste time writing it all over again. So instead of this, it becomes a volume charge, right? Or a space charge. Okay. Many times you'll be you'll be given a space charge distribution as that. Now here I define a a volume charge density. Rho as Q upon V for the total charge. So the total charge is spread over a volume V. If it is uniformly spread, then you divide the whole Q by V and you get the charge per unit volume. Okay, say something like this. This is the volume. And what do I do? So Q is total charge over the over the volume v over the volume v and v is the volume of the 
वॉल्यूम ऑफ द बॉडी ओवर विच द ओवर विच द चार्ज इज स्प्रेड आई डिफाइन दिस एज इफ 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 दे कीप ऑन वेरिंग देन यू डिफाइन इट एज दिस सो वॉट आर वी डूइंग वी आर मेकिंग द वॉल्यूम सो स्मॉल दैट विद इन दैट देर इज अ यूनिफॉर्म डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन If you cannot find any volume, then you start in reducing that volume to an infinitesimally small volume, right? So, so over a very small, small volume, which is delta v, we have a charge of of rho into delta v. so de is rho delta v and here also it becomes rho delta v over the volume v and the volume is kind of this understand so i take a volume here such that such that it is so small it is so small that that is so small that that it has a it has a it 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 acts as a point charge and i am free to use these formula so so what is the motivation for doing all this because we started with a point charge we actually know the formula only about a point charge that's why this this method of reducing things into particles has come into being and when i am reducing a wire a, a, a length into into a particle then i take a small length dl when i when i am trying to convert a an area element into a small one i i consider d and if i consider the so if i consider a volume element then i consider it dv so here here also there will be dv okay there will be dv fine so this is how we do it we'll see how we actually do it in a in a given scenario right that that we'll do but after we do the gauss's law yes hmm yeah the unit here is 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 coulomb per meter cube yes that is the unit get the point